Well, good to have you back. I'm Dr. David DeRose. It's day 10 now in our journey, 30 days to natural diabetes and high blood pressure control. Focus on fats. That's our topic for today. I'll tell you, there's, there's so much, you know, so much out there where people are talking about fats. Let me start with a story. It, well, it's just a hypothetical one, but I know many of you have been catching the vision from this program. Every day you're listening to me give you a challenge. And perhaps uh, you've been very serious about those challenges. I hope you have, because that's the way you're going to see benefit. Well, challenge, remember, early last week, measure, measure, measure. Let's say you're one of those individuals with diabetes. You're now checking your blood sugar before the meal and then two hours after. You made a discovery that first week. You said, this is amazing. I can eat a meal of bacon and butter, and it doesn't affect my blood sugar. Now, I don't know who would want to eat a bunch of bacon and put butter on it, but let's just say that's what you discovered. You say, Dr. DeRose, I'm so thankful for the 30-day program because now I can eat my favorite food, bacon with butter. And uh, is it true that checking your blood sugar after such a meal is likely to... uh, result in uh, maybe a yawn, that nothing really changed at all. It's very interesting. If you eat a meal with no carbohydrates, like bacon and butter, it is very likely your blood sugar will stay stable, but that does not mean it's a good meal for your diabetes or for your high blood pressure. Here's why. The butter and the bacon are loaded with saturated fats. And when we talk today about focusing on fats, here's what my challenge is. I want you to focus on fats for two reasons. One, is I want you to try to avoid those saturated fats. You say, well, why? You just gave an example of of eating lots of saturated fat and your blood sugar not changing. Here's the deal. We're concerned about your blood sugar over time. Saturated fat is fat that tends to be solid at room temperature. Now, Now think about this for a minute. If the fat is solid at room temperature, like butter or bacon, you know, when it's sitting there on on your uh, counter or wherever, If it's solid at room temperature, might it not also be solid in your body? Now, you might say that's a strange question. Here's why I'm saying this. The fats that you eat become the fats that make up your cell membranes. And if those cell membranes are more rigid because you're eating saturated fat, those cell membranes become less sensitive to insulin. And the root cause of type 2 diabetes is, guess what? Lack of insulin sensitivity. We sometimes simply call it insulin resistance. So here's the deal. If you want to have better blood sugar over time, you've got to eat less saturated fat. So my first challenge for today is try to avoid the saturated fat. Avoid the bacon. Avoid the butter. Avoid the ice creams. Avoid the red meat. You following along with me? Avoid the cheese. But there's a second part of the message. Just like saturated fat is bad for your cell membranes, relatively bad if you want to use that terminology, relatively good are the plant fats that are polyunsaturated or monounsaturated. They make for more flexible cell membranes. They help insulin to work better. Now, by the way, if you're not connecting the dots, and uh, if you're not connecting them, it's because I haven't given you all the uh, data points. But not only is insulin resistance bad for your blood sugar, it's also bad for your blood pressure. So if you eat more plant fats, if you choose more walnuts and chia seeds and flax seeds, which, by the way, are all rich in omega-3 fats. That's right, omega-3 fats are not uh, found in nature, primarily in fish. Fish only concentrate some of this class of fats that is made exclusively by plants. Did you catch that? Omega-3 fats are made by plants, not by fish. So there are some fish that are good omega-3 sources. But, but let's face it, and we point this out in many places. Uh, we talk about it in our, in our book, 30 Days to Natural Blood Pressure Control, and, and other places. Listen, there's simply not enough fish on the planet for every human being to get the omega-3 fat that he or she needs by eating fish. You need to eat plant sources of omega-3 fat if, if we want to be on a sustainable program for a, a, a human race. So, eat more of those plant omega-3 fats and other polyunsaturated fats that you load up on when you eat good, wholesome plant foods. 
nuts, and seeds, things of that nature. Your challenge? Focus on fats. Avoid the saturated fats. Choose the plant fats. Let me give you one other aspect to it. Some of you uh, may have heard my series, Listening to the Buffalo. Um, it's one of those DVDs that I've got here on the shelf. And uh, this is a DVD based on my work with Native Americans. I've had the privilege, many of you know, to host a weekly radio show called American Indian Living for the last some 15 years. And uh, in my work with Native Americans, I've really appreciated some of their cultural values. What I find fascinating about First Nation peoples here on this continent is they never use free fat. By that, I mean they never fried their foods. They never added fat to their foods. So before Europeans came to this continent, Native Americans were on a relatively low-fat diet. I'm encouraging you to do the same. Not only choose the good fats, avoid the bad fats, but don't try to add more fats to your program, okay? So less fat is generally better for these conditions, diabetes and high blood pressure. And with that, you've got the encouragement for Day 10. I'm Dr. David DeRose. We'll be back with more tomorrow for Day 11 of our 30-day journey. Join me then.